Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude. This is my trailer review for Captain America The Winter Soldier. Are you ready for the world to see you as you really are? Look out the window. You know how the game works. Disorder, war. All it takes is one step. The trailer is finally here. If you guys follow me on Facebook, I've been saying a couple of times how excited I am for the trailer to come. I said release the trailer already. I can't wait any longer. This trailer is badass. This is one awesome epic trailer. I really enjoyed Captain America the First Avenger. It's actually my favorite standalone film leading up to the Avengers. Yeah, uh, Iron Man is my second favorite. I give Captain America the First Avenger and Iron Man my same rating, which is three and a half out of four stars. But if I had to pick between those two, it would have to be Captain America the First Avenger. That film, although it is very cheesy, it hit me more because... There's just something about that film that just really hit me. And Iron Man is awesome, but it's my second favorite. It looks a whole lot different than the first. The action sequences look epic. They look awesome. They look really intense. You see Chris Evans in his new Captain America suit. And I thought that was really awesome. I thought there was a lot of nice colorful blue to his suit. And, of course, you get Black Widow in... The Winter Soldier. And oh my gosh, her hairstyle. She was hot in Iron Man 2 with her long curly hair. She was hot in The Avengers with her short haircut, but in The Winter Soldier with her long straight hair. Holy shit. Oh, Scarlett Johansson, why do you have to be so hot? Oh man, yeah. I. I can't wait for more Black Widow hotness. That's all I gotta say. Damn. And of course you have Nick Fury here and you have Anthony Mackie here. And it's gonna be really cool. Captain America's buddy, spoiler alert if you have not seen the original film, he supposedly died when he fell off this huge ass cliff. But Bucky comes back as, you guessed it, the Winter Soldier. I think the storyline is going to be really good, really well written. I'm very interested as to where the story is going to go, how it's going to lead up to Avengers 2, Age of Ultron. I can't wait to see more Captain America badassness, more Black Widow hotness, and it's going to be cool to see Nick Fury here as well. I can't wait to see how Anthony Mackie is going to work out as a superhero. It has me curious how... Uh, how the whole Winter Soldier storyline is going to go. A lot of things really keep me interested. And Captain America the Winter Soldier is my number one most anticipated standalone film leading up to The Avengers 2. It definitely has potential to be better than the first film, in my opinion. The first film is outstanding, but if the sequel could try to reach to that perfect level, in my opinion... That would be awesome. I'm so excited to see this film. Unfortunately, in 2014, we're not going to get a Marvel film on the first week of May. Because if you guys notice, we usually get a Marvel film on the first week of May. But not 2014. Instead, it's going to be in the first week of April. So April 4th, 2014, bring it on. Come to me. Because Captain America the Winter Soldier looks badass awesome, epic, and oh my gosh, I just can't wait to see this film. Subscribe to my channel, like and share this video, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, comment below your thoughts on Captain America the Winter Soldier. If you have not seen that trailer yet, I'm going to leave a link to the trailer below. America, I am 22 Tiger Dude and don't forget that I will always have... TIGER POWER!